Okay, so here are the main denominations. Actually, I'm forgetting the 25 cent pieces. Um, I'm probably a little biased in that I really, really like these chips. Um, I just think they have kind of a classy look. Um, they're modeled after the original Bellagio chips uh, before they changed recently. Um, when you first get your Milano chips, they're very chalky looking. Um, some people like that. I personally didn't care for it, so I did, um, you know, oil all of my chips just using mineral mineral oil basically rubbing a small amount of mineral oil all over the chip uh, letting it sit for a couple minutes and then just wiping it dry you can see the uh, the 500s the chalky look never really went away um, they still have kind of a dry chalky look to them where some of the others kind of brightened up quite a bit um, after oiling them. Uh, one of the negative things I had read online was that the thickness between denominations was not good. Um, let me see if I can even get a good shot of this. I have never noticed any thickness problems. These are all 20 stacks. I mean, I think maybe that 5 is the tiniest, tiniest bit shorter um, but again these are these are 20 stacks there's no mistaking you know if you're a full chip off I mean they're they're very consistent um, as far as the the height of the chip um, the other thing I really like about the chips are the edge marks Again, I just think it has more of a classic poker chip feel. Um, one of the poker chips I was sort of considering if I didn't get the Milanos were the uh, Majestics. And I, I really like how the Majestics look. These are just some, these are the mint metal slug chips. Way too heavy. Just, I mean, look at that thing wobble. That's that's garbage. Um, I love the Tiki Kings. It's a ceramic chip on uh, BR Pro Poker. Just a little bit spendy. Plus, I, I kind of prefer the, the clay chip feel. These are just a couple other sample sets off their site. But let me show you, uh, let me pull these Majestics off, and I'll compare these to the... Milano's and kind of show you why I chose the Milano's over these Majestics here. So let me just sit down here. Hopefully this works out. Again, I, I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm sorry. Let me get my tripod set here. Okay. So Basically, let's get the hundreds out here so we can compare apples to apples. And there's 25, there's 20. Um, both great looking chips, almost identical in height. The Milanos might be a millimeter or two taller. Um, watch the spinners here. You know, when I, when I turn the Milanos, Go down a little lower. The whole stack kind of will turn together. You know, not perfectly, but they're kind of stuck. Where if I try and turn these majestics, I mean, it's almost like each chip is an individual spinner. And it's probably not the best test to do on the felt. If you do it on a surface that's a little bit more firm, you notice that. But buy a sample set of each and just kind of test for yourself. These have a, a feel of being a little bit more sticky is not the right word, but they, they stay together. They're, when they're in a stack, it's a solid stack. 
you know, when these Majestics are in a stack, they just they just feel like they're going to topple over. They don't they don't stick together. They're just very spinny, and the Majestics spin as well. All poker chips spin, um, except for some ceramics don't. Um, but I really like the fact that the Milanos kind of stay together. They have a more traditional, classy look, um, although the Majestics obviously look look great as well. Um, the other thing you really want to know about Milano's is chip racks. Um, evidently Milano's are, you know, a few hundredths or tenths of a millimeter smaller per chip, just a, a minuscule amount. But that makes a big difference when getting racks. So, for example, let me get two different kinds of racks. <clears throat> the standard rack you get off any website. No, excuse me, this is the custom rack. Let me get moved. In. The standard rack here. I just oiled these today. I should have waited, then I could have shown you uh, could have shown you what unoiled Milanos look like compared to oils, but oh well. Now we've got to get above here. Look at these, look at these racks. See how loose that is? That is 20 Milanos per rack. If I want to, I can fit somewhat easily. 21 chips in a rack. You have to sort of push them in there, but they will snap in place 21 chips. And this is a standard rack that you'd get off Claysmith Gaming's website, that you'd get off Apache Poker, that you'd get off um, any pretty much any site. Um, it, it's generally, you go to Amazon, when you buy the bulk racks, this is what you're going to get. However, you can get a, I don't want to call it a custom rack, because it's not custom, really. It's just ever so slightly smaller. This is a chip rack made by, whoops, made by Chipco. And I don't know if there's any actual marking, yes there is, on the rack. That says Chipco. Now I know Chipco makes more than one rack. But the place you want to buy this rack, which will fit 20 Milanos, it will not fit 21 Milanos. So it will snugly fit 20, so when you're racking up your chips, you're not going to have to double, triple check every time you put chips in there. Do I have 20? Do I have 21? Do I have 19? They're going to be much tighter in there. Plus then when you're stacking your racks of chips, you don't have to worry about the chips wobbling and falling over. Um, this rack you can get on Apache Poker and they'll have a, f a few different racks on there. This will be the one that says Chipco Rack. It'll cost, uh, instead of costing like a buck fifty a rack, these will cost, you know, probably three bucks a rack. They're better quality, they're slightly smaller, and it says that on the description on Apache Poker. I think it says this rack is made for use with Paulson chips or something like that. Um, and that's kind of, the Milanos must line up more with that uh, size chip. Uh, but it'll say Chipco Rack, and it'll be more expensive than the other racks. That's on Apache Poker. Um, you know, it's not, it's not totally necessary, but once you get into having a large collection of chips, you know, you've got your poker buddies over and you're wanting to count out chips fast and just hand people stacks when, they, when they're buying chips or when they're cashing out. I mean, it's, it's just a must to have a rack that you can count on and not have to double and triple check and, you know, pull them out of the rack to make sure. With this rack, you will know exactly how many Milanos are in there. Um, what else can I tell you about Milanos? Um, you know, there. I, I have to agree there are some quality control issues. For example, let me show you these reds. Look, this is, I know this is the red, bad rack, but look at these reds. Now if you look closely, you can kind of tell 
Some are ever so slightly darker, like these, than others, like these. All of these chips have been oiled, all of these chips have been played with, but they are slightly different colors, and I mainly notice that in red. Now, when you order your Milanos, my advice would be to order the quantity you want in one order. Because to me, when I bought my reds, I did not buy all these reds at one time. I think I bought 200 once, um, and then I bought 300 or however many else I have separately. And those two different batches have just ever so slightly different colors. Now when you're playing with them and you're splashing around and you're stacking them and I zoom out, you can't tell. You know, these chips have been all mixed together. They look great. But if you examine them closely, you're going to find a few that are ever so slightly darker and ever so slightly lighter. That doesn't bother me. But, in retrospect, I just kind of wish I'd order them in one batch. These whites, I ordered all in one batch. No, absolutely no color difference whatsoever. These pinks, I believe I ordered in one batch. Blacks. Now, the, the purples are the ones, like I said, where when I, when I got them, they were extremely chalky. Kind of like the, oops, there's my finger. These here are kind of chalky. I oiled them all, but the purples just hold that chalky look. And that chalky look kind of goes away as you, I guess, get more of your natural oils in there, where here you can see this chip looks like it might not have been played with quite as much because it's still got a little bit more of a chalky look to it. It's a pretty chip. Really pretty chip. Um, the other thing, and I noticed this on the pinks here. This is weird. Okay, well, this is perfect. That chip. These two chips are identical. Now I'm going to look through here. I'm going to hold the camera still and try to find one that's different because I know I got one that's slightly different. Like this one. Okay. Now what do you notice when you look at those two chips? Let me zoom out just a little bit. The size of the number is slightly different. This one is bigger than this one. Now again, I throw a bunch in here. You're playing poker with your buddies. Totally unnoticeable. But if you're a poker chip junkie, it's kind of weird. So again, that goes with ordering your chips together in one batch. Although I think I did order all those in one batch, so maybe that's just something you've got to live with. Again, that doesn't affect anything. In fact, I, I'm not even sure how I noticed that. Well, I do know how. It's because when you oil your chips, you oil each chip individually, which takes a long frickin' time, and you start to notice weird things when you're board oiling chips. Um, what else can I tell you? I We played with these chips dozens of times. You know, I played everything from 25 cent blinds with some of my buddies to, you know, my bigger uh, casino poker buddies where we play 2-5. So there we're using the reds the greens. I think at one point we ran out of greens and had to get to blacks. Um, they play fantastic. I get so many compliments on these chips. I mean, it's just a beautiful chip. Light years ahead of the metal insert chips and the, you know, the standard dice chips. Now, price-wise, that's what we should talk about. Where should you buy these chips? Um, I was gonna buy a shitload of them so I, I looked around a lot the absolute cheapest place I could find to buy the chips now keep in mind you need to buy the racks at Apache Poker if you want the correct size racks if you don't care then you can buy the racks or you buy the chips 
Um, but as far as the cheapest chips, this is cheapest price per chip as well as taking shipping into consideration. The cheapest place to buy Milano's is going to be Poker Chip Mania. Poker Chip Mania. And I believe their price is $7.50 per 25. And I, I forget exactly what that comes out to, but I think it's like 32 cents a chip or something like that. Um, you're not going to find these chips for less than that. In fact, if you look around most places, you're going to pay between 40 and 50 cents per chip. Um, Poker Chip Mania has good shipping, low shipping costs. They ship them pretty quickly. Now, I will say about Poker Chip Mania, they have screwed up my order, I think, two separate times. I am extremely happy that they screwed up my order. When they screwed up my order, they sent me like two or three hundred greens. I think that's why I have so many greens. That is what happened. They sent me three hundred greens when they should have sent me three hundred reds. So I contacted them and said, hey, I got three hundred green Milanos. I was supposed to get red. Expecting them to say, well, you know, send them back to us and we'll replace them. They apologized, they let me keep the 300 Milanos, and they sent me 300 of the red Milanos that I paid for. Now, that's a fantastic deal. That's 750 per 25, 25 times 4, so it's about 60, uh, 30 bucks per 100. You know, that was about $100 of free chips right there. Um, the other time, I can't remember exactly what the mistake was, they screwed up the order again and immediately offered to send me what I ordered and I kept their screw up. So, uh, it sucks that they screwed my order up, but it's pretty awesome that I wound up getting hundreds of dollars of free chips and, and no questions asked, just fix the problem immediately. So that's that's Poker Chip Mania. You could order them from Apache Poker. I think they're pretty close to the same price as Poker uh, Chip Mania, a little bit more. You might think, well, I'll just order the Chipco Racks and the Milanos at Apache Poker. Uh, I had the same thought, thinking I'd save on shipping. However, they ship the Rack and the Milanos from different locations. So you end up having to pay two separate shipping costs, one for the chips and one for a separate one for the racks and you wind up paying twice as much in shipping which winds up making them more expensive. Okay, so anyway, I would go with Poker Chip Mania for the chips and I, I would definitely recommend getting the correct Chipco racks at Apache Poker. Um, yeah, so I guess that's that's what I've got on the Milano's, great chip. I highly recommend them. Um, people love playing with them. It just makes a cash game fun when you have you have some nice, fun, classy chips to splash around with. So um, that's my first Milano poker chip video. If you guys have any questions about the Milano's or you want me to compare them to other chips. You know, I've got a ton of old dice chips. I've got a ton of sample sets like the Majestics. I've got a few ceramic sets, blah, 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 blah. Any questions you have about Milano's, ask, and I will try to make video slash videos to answer any of your questions, just because I know buying a decent set of poker chips, especially if you're going to buy quite a few, is a lot of money. It's expensive. So, you want to have all your questions answered ahead of time. Uh, happy to help. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is William White signing off. Thanks, guys. Bye.